Yeah, welcome online. <laughs> I'm back and I fixed it. I hope you are doing good. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Respect to you. Much love. Yeah, they say Mike dance for us. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some uh, posing and do some dancing. Yeah. It's pretty. I hope you're having a pleasant day. Yeah, thank you for the comments. I really appreciate your comments. You guys doing good? Yeah. So on the live stream. Yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, on this live stream, we can. Yeah, welcome back. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I try to fix another live stream. Did you get a notification on this live stream? You know, I canceled the other uh, preloading one because the camera was not fi fixed. I hope you got a notification or how you joined this live stream. I'm talking to uh, Bacharef. Say, hello, how are you? Thank you, I'm good. How did you notice the live stream? How did you join? Did you get a notification? Yes, I have notification, of course. I love your life. Thank you for your comments. Okay, so in this live stream, I want you guys to ask me whatever question you have to ask me, maybe about uh, bodybuilding, maybe about my life, maybe about Africa, maybe about Nigeria, maybe about Ghana, or maybe about uh, anything you want to ask me. Or about my diet, about what I eat, how I eat, how I train, how long I'll be training, what I do for a living, how I get support, how I try to fix myself. If you have a question, you can ask me. So it's a chat section. I appreciate you for coming online. It's Monday right here. I hope you guys are having a great day and keeping it going. Uh, yeah, thank you for liking the video. Yeah, so I wait for your comments. Yeah, I have to enjoy it. We need some. Okay. For Mr. Bacheref. You see, how to have veins like your bicep. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I got some veins on my bicep. Basically, when I started bodybuilding, I started training. I started doing bicep coil. I had the barbell. I was doing bicep coil every every now and then. So I think consistent uh, bicep coiling gives you stressed, the stress uh, veins on your bicep because consistent bicep coil. You can do the bicep coil by three times to four times weekly. Keep on doing bicep coil three times to four times weekly. I think it's a good way to stress the bicep up and uh, bring up a vein up there. Yeah, if you have any question, you can ask me. And also, you know, I eat uh, natural fruits, so I think it takes uh, a great impact on your on your body nutrition. You have to eat good and natural. You have to keep it clean and watch what you eat. If you have a question, you can ask me. Go 
what is your minimum on the exercise? How do you mean my minimum on the exercise? Yes, I talked about bicep, uh, bicep curling. So how do you mean my minimum of the exercise? Let me know, explain better. Yeah, thank you for coming online. Please like this video, ask me any question, ask me whatever you want to know about. Bodybuilding, about what I do, about how I do, or oh, how Africa. Hi, Mike, looking huge, bro. <laughs> thank you, look, to, to Ken. Yeah, it's just Token. Respect to you. Thank you for your comment. I appreciate that. Uh, Mr. Becharef, you say, what, what is your minimum? What is your maximum on the exercise? How do you mean maximum? You mean bicep core? Basically, I don't count my reps, okay? I don't count my reps. I don't count my sets. I don't count it because I'm not, uh, okay, the way you can lift. I don't count it because I'm not, uh, I'm not calculating how much I can lift. Rather, I have to calculate how much I have pumped the muscles. So what I do when I do the bicep coil, I keep curling. Then I can't curl no more because the, uh, when I started doing training, like I said, I started with bicep coil. So there was a point you have to struggle to curl the bar because you're getting tired. You have to struggle. Yeah. So I was doing a lot of struggle coil. I was in a struggle calling. I was using heavy weights because uh, I had some two to three guys by my side that we were doing coil together. So we thought of uh, only calling. We never thought of doing bench press at that point. So I never had good pecs. So later on, I started doing more bodybuilding. I started doing pecs, exercise, chest, workout, and also my legs. So calling is something you have to call to your maximum. You don't have to call 10 and drop the bar. I don't count it. So when I call, I keep on doing it till I'm fed up. You know? The muscles feel the stress. So when you give the tension to the bicep, I think the bicep are going to tear up the veins. So they react to your... Uh... Man, the weights, I don't check the weight, okay? I don't check the volume because I started with uh, local weights with some homemade uh, weights, you know, cement and some stuff. Then in Nigeria, so I had uh, some local weights. So in that case, you could not tell the volume of the weight because it's not stated on it. You have to make it with your smell, sand, and some stuff. So I don't really know the weight, but I try to increase my weight when I call. So I get big bicep, and then I got some uh, you know, stress. It's based on stress. The veins are based on stress to stress the bicep. So it's good to do more of a bicep core and increase your weight. And don't count it, just do it till you fill up. The muscles are fed up, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, ask me your question, whatever question you want to ask me. Respect to you. Great, thank you for your answer. <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. He said, uh, somebody said, Mac, dance for us. I'm waiting for him to come online. From uh, Paya, something like Paya. He said, Mac, dance for us. <laughs> but I don't know how to dance. I try to move my body. I'm not a good professional dancer. Thank you. Yeah, Tangerine. I love oranges and tangerine. They're nice. Mr. Scott, good evening, sir. <laughs> good evening, Mr. Scott. Respect to you from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, if you have a question, you can ask me. If you want to know anything about me, Ask me. Hey, Mr. Scott, I'm doing good. Respect to you. Thank you for asking. If you want to know anything about me, you can ask me. I'm here to chat and uh, respond to your comments. A lot of people see Mike. Say, Mike, you're huge. You got muscles. We love your videos. I really want to know more about you. Yeah, you can ask me whatever question you want to ask me right here. 
Mrs. Scott says you like Ghana. Yes, I love Ghana. I love Ghana. I love the United States. I love Chicago. I love Brazil. I love Switzerland. I love Germany. I love Nigeria. How tall are you and your bicep? How tall? How tall are your biceps? <laughs> Bello, Tito Franco, respect to you. Uh, how tall are your biceps? Well, my biceps, I don't know how tall they are. But myself, I'm 6.2 feet. Yeah, Paula in Brazil, I'm on. What's up? Respect, good evening. <laughs> Tito <laughs> Franco, well, it is warm in Ghana. Yes, it's warm in Ghana. Ghana has a warm temperature. It's not as cold. It's pretty nice. Ghana is a nice country with warm atmosphere. Yeah, if you come to Ghana, you have to take off your shirts. I think you like. You take off your shirt so you don't get too hot. Then you have to enjoy the natural air. I don't wear my shirt when I'm in the house. I never wear my shirt. I only wear my shirt when I go out or when I have to go out. That's when I wear my shirt. You've been to... You've been to Hono Coast. Ivory Coast. I don't know, no, no, no. Tito Franco. <laughs> nah, big man Tito Franco in Brazil. No, I've not been to Ivory Coast. I'm here to answer your question. Talk to me. Are you Igbo? No, I'm not Igbo. I'm not Igbo. Nigeria have uh, different languages and different tribes. Yeah, Igbo is one of them, but I'm not. You have a great body. What is your advice? <laughs> My advice has always been the key of uh, trying to impart this knowledge on us that we should always buy and eat more fruits than food okay always eat more fruits than you eat food so it cleans your blood it regulates your sugar level it regulates a lot of things in your system eat watermelon eat banana eat apple you know fruits it's always one thing if you have the money because fruit is more expensive than food we know you can buy pizza for cheap price but you can't buy it with that price some bunch of bananas so Fruits are kind of expensive than food, but we have to try to keep up. So if you have more money to support your diet, you have to eat more fruits than you eat food. Yeah, sometimes you can eat more fruits in the day than you eat food. So that gives you an upper chance of uh, keeping your body healthy and also regulating your system in a natural form, which is ideal to avoid the uh, hospital uh, recommendation. Yeah, you have to avoid going to the hospitals for mm -hmm. recommendation. Uh, from Paula, I said, uh, what are you eating? I'm eating tangerine. <laughs> it is tangerine, like orange. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, talk to me, ask me any question. Let's talk back, okay? I wish I can share this live stream for everyone to, for me to see your faces. Let me see your faces. Good to know. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thank you, Roby. Roby, respect to you. Okay, thank you. Paula, thank you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So also, like uh, a comment from from Mr. Becham, Becharef. Yeah, Becharef, he said, you have a great body, what is your advice? So, like I said, the fruits, then secondly, the exercise, 
exercise helps you burn out the unnecessary calories from your body. Yeah, you can do cardio workout by walking, running, jogging. You can use the treadmill. Treadmill is good. I love the treadmill. I started using treadmill. I started using the treadmill machine more often uh, last week. Last week I used the treadmill machine more often because I was trying to prepare for a competition, an upcoming one in Dubai. But uh, subsequently, the Dubai expenses is kind of uh, too cost, so we have to switch plans. So treadmill is a vital machine that gives you a kind of cardio exercise to give you lean and the shredded body. It's vital. You can do 20 minutes walk with good walking, uh, good walking volume. What do you eat? I eat rice, I eat beans, I eat fruits, I eat anything that is natural. You know what I mean? Natural, farm food, food you don't buy from companies, okay? Food you don't buy from companies, you don't buy from the from the can. You have to cook, you have to eat, you have to you have to be fresh, you know, fresh food. I eat fresh fruits, I eat chicken, I eat eggs, I eat Potatoes, yeah, sweet potatoes, I eat apple, I eat tomatoes, I eat fish. Yeah, I eat a lot of natural food. And that's what I do. Uh, I said, thank you for your answer. And what is the best food for exercise? The best food for exercise, like I always use, I use beans. I use beans. Beans is my favorite food for exercise. I started eating beans long time ago when I started doing body, when I started training because when I started training I was I was lean. I think I have to show you guys a picture of me when I before I started training. I was slim, I was small, I was lean. I never thought I could build muscles to this stage. I never thought I could become Mac Odeon today. I never thought I could make up some good and impressive muscles. I only started doing bicep coil because I needed some uh, additional mass but i never thought i could build my body make it more uh, symmetry and more impressive and more structured and more uh, modeling you know it's a great journey and i really acknowledge every bit of the steps so this is one of my pictures where i was in uh, nigeria training by the by the bush yeah, you can see the background i made some local weights i did bicep coil a lot this bicep coiling you can see the biceps walking so this is a picture from one year old that's one year ago last year in nigeria well let me bring out a picture of my past when i never started training i think that's uh, the picture we have to see so you see how small mike was we never thought about training never thought about uh, lifting weights it was like a mindset because you have that mindset i wanted to make my body look good i wanted to look like terminator you know terminator you know rambo you know uh, i like those movies i was watching a lot of movies when i was young so i always had that impression that i'm going to make my body look good so i'm going to become my own terminator <laughs> yeah i'm so glad i got to this point i'm trying to find out these pictures thank you guys for staying online respect to you I said thank you. When this was me about four years ago, this was me about four years ago. I started training, I started doing some weight, I was checking my growth. It is my back at that point. This was my back. This was my front. Okay, then I started training about four years ago. So I'm trying to bring out a picture where I never trained at all. And you know, at some point when you're trying to bring out a picture, then your phone, you start losing. You, you don't see them. Okay, now I found it. <laughs> okay, this is Mike. 
This is Mike. This is Mike. We never thought about doing bodybuilding. Yeah, this is Mike. This is Mike. You don't need supplements. This is Mike. This is Mike. This is Mike. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, about 10 years ago. 10 years ago. You don't need supplements because I never needed supplements. So I'm going to tell you what works for me. This is Mike. I have a lot of pictures of me, old pictures. This is Mike. Yeah, this is me. This was on my secondary school at that point. Of the secondary school. This is Mike on the bike. Ah. This is Mike on the bike. At this point, I never started training. I finished my secondary school. You see my wrist, you see my arms, you see how skinny I was. No chest, nothing. It was like a, a dream come true because I always wanted to add up some muscles. Okay, we have some uh, before and after. Yeah, this is me on both pictures. You can see the same. So, like I said, from January, from January next year, we are going to December, we are going to the end of this year. So January next year, I'm going to be publishing my old content. When I started training from Nigeria, when I started doing uh, some local weights, when I started doing my home exercise, I made some local weights. I was training barefooted outside the sun. Yeah, I did a lot of sacrifice. Yesterday. So I'm going to start posting my old content. So you guys are going to see this process. I went through how I tried to make it up. Okay, but you can always see me on live streams. Yeah, I'm going to come up on live streams, flex the testimony. But when I post a video, you're going to see Mike two years ago or Mike four years ago when he was struggling. And you're going to say, wow, so you did all this. Yeah, like I can show you a video now. I can show you a video where I was training some years ago with my local weights. And it's impressive. Okay, let me get back to our topic. Okay, hi, my friend. Bicep pose, Mr. Carlos. <laughs> Bicep pose, thank you, sir. Yeah, respect to you, sir, Carlos. Uh, wow, I missed some comments. Sorry for that. Oh, uh, wow, great biceps. What's your favorite fruits? Oh, Paula from Brazil. I'm, on. I'm sorry I waste your comment time. I can truly only say perfection. My respect. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, from uh, talking. Okay, Paula, say what is your favorite fruits? My favorite fruit is banana, banana and apple. Okay, thank you. Uh, from Mr. Bicharev, he said, wow, great biceps. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, from Ruby, he said, amazing and beautiful body you have. That's for re. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Mac said, Mr. Macho, how you day? I'm fine, boss. Respect to you. And G-Love, say my favorite. <laughs> G-Love, Mon Grace. Yeah, from Mr. Bacharev, he said, wow, impressive. From Mr. Carlos, hi, my friend. Double bicep pose. From Mr. Bacharev, he said, uh, good transformation. Yeah, another comment uh, from Mr. Haman. He said, how old are you? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Bacharev. He said, good transformation. Yeah, it was a dream come true because I never thought I could be like this today. So it was a dream come true because I was training. My parents thought I didn't know what I was doing. They thought I was going to be fighting and bringing problem to the house. So I left my parents. I started doing my team. I started doing my team. I started getting some uh, support. I started working. I started doing some security jobs in Nigeria. I have my security ID card where I did some security jobs some years ago. So I made some money. I started doing my training. I started buying some more mentors. I started, doing, I started having some uh, guys coming around to train with me. I have a lot of video with people training around me because, because I made uh, some local weight. I was pushing hard. Yeah, this is one. You see me. This is me in Nigeria. Last year, 
this is my local weight in the background you see a guy supporting me when it gets too impressive because we don't count it we just pushed in we get tired so i paste this video on slow motion so you see the background it's not a fancy background okay we trained outside we made our local weights we did all we could do man nobody knew us you know nobody knew us while we were doing all these things we were putting on the sacrifice doing what we could do just to make sure we get the body in shape because when your body comes in shape then at least you can get uh, notified and also verified you know what i mean okay let me come back uh thank you for that mr bachelor uh, from mr Haman, he said how old are you okay how old are you that's a vera question i always get on my instagram they say how old are you how old are you man i'm old enough okay i'm old enough if i'm not old enough i won't be out here talking so i'm old enough thank you for that question from g love hi Mike. what's up g love uh rabbi is a really impressive what a big change thank you roby <laughs> yeah g love very good bachelor i say wow you was always a handsome man from Puala. Thank you, thank you. Very delicious. Tito Franco, respect to you. Okay. I think I can also come up with uh, more videos, a video of my past. I wish I could show you guys more right here. Okay, let me show you from my... If you have my Instagram page, you can see my post from from years ago on my Instagram page, a lot of content from years back. I made some training videos, a lot of them on my Instagram page. Respect to you guys. Respect. G Love. <laughs> Thank you. If you have a question, you can ask me. I'm trying to show you some of the content I have on you on my phone. Okay. This was me in Nigeria. This was me in Nigeria one year ago. This was my cop and we are trained. <laughs> Sometimes I try to imagine how much energy I invested in that compound because I lifted a lot of weights. At this point, I was a bit stressed out because I did leg workouts and my legs were popping. I'm, I have, I had some headache. I was resting by the wall. Okay, this was me one year ago in Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria one year ago. to DMCM. Yeah, <laughs> look at me. Look at me in Nigeria. Look at me. Look at my legs. I had more skinny legs at that point. You see, it takes time. It takes courage. Yeah, I was doing more of bicep core. You see the veins. They were there. I did chest press. You see the veins, they were there. The strains were there on the upper body. You see the background? No fancy gym, okay? You don't need a fancy gym, you don't need supplements. You see the legs? The legs were not as good as uh, they suppose. But at that point, I was striving, trying to make it happen. You know what I mean? Mac, where are you now? <laughs> I'm currently in Ghana, bro. I'm currently in Ghana. I'm currently in Ghana. I, did, I came for some competitions. I did some bodybuilding competitions. Okay, this was me in Nigeria. Short sleep. 
lindo, ese lindo. <laughs> We're doing some comedy video. some comedy video that was last year in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Desconectando, desconecta. <laughs> Show us some mozo pose from Mike. Mike, respect to you. I'm out here. Ask me any question. You can ask me any question. I will. Respond to your question. Yes, I'm gonna show you some muzzle pose. The muzzles are there, ready to be posed. <laughs> yeah. Then I thought I could build up my muzzles like this. But there was some point I was walking and I saw that my body was getting transformed. So at that point, I thought to myself, I said, wow, if I didn't take a supplement, I didn't take any. I didn't use any international machines. I didn't use any international coach. I don't have any coach. I don't have any guard. But I could build up myself to this stage. Oh, wow. Then I could uh, possibly improve and get it on point. So I dedicated more and I invested more and I invested more than I thought. And I'm still investing more than I thought. And it's still kind of uh, good because it's a lifestyle and getting you to your destination. So you have to be patient and dedicated. Yeah, it's not uh, as cheap as we all look at it, but we have to keep the goal on point. No back down, you know what I mean? Keeping it up. Respect to you. Say, so where are you now? Yes, I'm home. Thank you, sir. From this connector, say, bon night. How are you in Brazil? Respect to Brazil. Much love. What's up? Where are you, Mike? Mike Dumboy. What's up? I have some tangerine. Yeah, thank you for liking this video. Thank you for your time. I'm here to chat. I'm here to chat. I'm here to talk to you. I'm here to respond to your question. If you ask, if you have any question to ask me about anything, you can ask me. If you want to know anything about Nigeria or Africa, you can ask me. We are here to chat, okay? Thank you for staying online. <laughs> Mr. Scott, do you eat chicken? Wow. May I eat chicken? But yesterday night we were frying some chicken and it's like you missed the video we were live yesterday 2 2 a.m in my time i was live at 2 a.m yesterday midnight i was in the kitchen frying some chicken and i ate some today yeah eat chicken thank you sir <laughs> i love chicken i love chicken i love eggs to Franco, <laughs> Bezo, <laughs> Brazil, Brazil, como estas? <laughs> wow, well, Brazil is a funny country. <laughs> I need to visit Brazil. Yeah, respect to you guys. Thank you for your time. Yeah, you can ask me any question. I got you. This is Superman. No, Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Do you eat late at night from Mike? Yeah, big man, that's a very 
that's a very complicated uh, area. You know, everybody sometimes at night they feel hungry, sometimes they feel tasty, sometimes they're scared of uh, eating to have solo stomach. But like I would say, it depends on what you eat, you know. Like as for me, at night, I focus more on fruits. I focus more on fruits because they digest more on time, quickly. So you have to avoid the oily foods. You have to avoid foods at night. Use more fruits. That's why you have to always have fruits in your refrigerator. You have to also always have fruits around you, vegetables. Keep it going, yeah. So you stay on point. Like sometimes when you don't have fruits in the night, you have to eat some food you don't need, and that's the stress. Maybe digestion, slow digestion. You know, my favorite, Batman. <laughs> Thank you. explain to you yeah, Nigeria so Nigeria <laughs> yeah we're in the street doing some rally it was funny yeah, there's a funny rally in the streets do you know every coast Yes, I know every coast, but I've not visited every coast. Okay, this is Nigeria. I see us in Nigeria. Yes, yeah, this is one of my homemade workouts. No. Okay, that is what I did. Yeah, this was one year ago in Nigeria. I was at home doing everything I could to make sure the body looks better. To make sure nobody looks better than me in Nigeria. To make sure I stay consistent and natural in what I do. As long as I keep it up, I don't need supplements. The body is gonna grow, the body is gonna is gonna progress, the body is gonna, gonna elevate. Yeah, consistency is what I believe. And I believe in food. I always eat natural food. And I keep my mind on point. Like I got the natural strength. I got the natural focus. It's all about what you do and how you do it. Yeah, Luis Gomez, respect to you. Are you from Lagos? No, I'm not from Lagos, sir. Mr. Scott, I'm not from Lagos. I'm from a state in Nigeria, a do state, not Lagos. Uh, I invite you to every coast. Hamam, okay. Yes, you can invite me to every coast, you can invite me to your country, but it has to be uh, an official reason. I have to know why I'm coming to every coast. Then you can sign the, an invitation. Then it has to be an official reason, maybe for a modeling job or for a contract or for a gym sponsor. Potakot is where you're from. No, I'm not from Potakot, sir. Scott, I'm from Meadows. Thank you. I'm not from Potakot. Tell me more. There are some people that do work out for months and they look skinny. It's about body system. Yes, from Mr. Mike. Please, I want to emphasize more on that. I want to deliberate more on that because uh, I see some people, that's why I try to correct anybody I see at the gym. When I go to the gym or when I'm at the gym, I see you walking out and you're doing the wrong exercise. I don't like it. It's kind of uh, irritating because you are going to be there for years. You are not going to get anything you are working for. Training is all about doing the right form of exercise because when I started training, I was doing the bad form of exercise and I was having a lot of lower waist pain, a lot of lower waist ache. And it was frustrating and I was taking a bad stop in training because my waist always hurts when I do 
maybe squatting and some uh, exercise. So training for you to get your body on point, you don't have to do the wrong exercise. First, you have to understand the body movement, how to move, how to stretch and squeeze the muscles. Because some people at the gym, when they do the bicep curl, they don't get the full stretch of the bicep and curl it back. So it's kind of, they are on the short form. They don't get the full stretch and, and squeeze back. So it has different uh, produce when you do it the right form or the wrong form. So what I would say, if you are not getting it right or you see a lot of skinny people, you advise the skinny ones to eat more, okay? Eat more food, eat more food because the body needs food. The body needs food to generate more muscles. The body needs food to build more muscles. The body needs food to build more strength. Then you have to increase your weight. You have to increase your weight gradually. You have to top up your weight to add more mass and more strength. Then also, you like I said, do as more as you can. Push as more as you can. Don't push five reps and say you are done or say you are, you are okay. No, you have to push to your limit. Push as much as you can. Let the body feel that stress. Let the body feel that transformation. Let the body go through the stress. That's why they say without pain, no gain. So some people will push the bench press two times, three times. They say, oh, they feel pain. And they keep the back instead of them to go through the stress pressure the chest to grow, put the chest on tension. When I started training, I started training every day. I never stopped. I was training every day, every day, every day I trained. Because after the training, I go back inside my room, I look at my bicep, I say, wow, the bicep are thin, they are very small. Some years ago, I was telling myself my bicep are very small. And I look on the internet, I look on the internet, I go to Google, I go to Google and I write, I write how to build big bicep. Then when I read how to build big bicep, I see you have to do a moderate weight of eight reps to 10 reps or to 12 reps. You don't need to do a heavy weight of five reps. You know, you carry heavy weight of a barbell. Heavy weights, you only move about three sets of it or three reps. And that's not how to build your muscles. You have to build muscles with continuous pumping. So you have to get a moderate weight whereby you can move about eight to 12 reps that will give you a muscle detention so i saw that online also i saw you have to you have to get the right posture your posture have to be accurate for you to get the right momentum of building muscles you have to stand up right you have to squeeze muscles and stretch muscles the right way you don't have to rush training you don't can rush it how many hours do you train mr louis gomez i don't check the time <laughs> i don't check the time so that's why currently my gym, the gym I train with here in Ghana, in my area, they are complaining. They say I train too much. They say they want to lock. They always send me out of the gym. Uh, I don't know why they have that uh, system of closing the gym in the afternoon. They only open in the morning and it's not too... I like to train whenever I want because I had my personal material. So I train every time I like. So... I train, sometimes I go to the gym, I don't check time. I spend four hours, I spend three hours, I spend five hours. I don't check the time, I just check the feelings. How do I feel? Yeah, I feel hungry for more. Yeah, I can do more. Okay, let me do more because there's no time. We are not going to live in this world forever. We have to get the body transformed and focus more on other areas of life, okay? So I have to focus and do more. I invest a lot of energy, a lot of time in the gym. Sometimes I get home tired and frustrated, you know. I have to cook again, I have to do the laundry, I have to get some rest. Sometimes I don't get good rest because falling asleep is not too uh, of, uh, fluent for me. Yeah, it's been a long time since I had any physical activities or walk in the park, but I will go back to doing some activities for health. <laughs> Voila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. It's good. Nice one. But you are looking healthy, so you don't need much uh, stress. You look healthy, you look good. Yeah, Luis Gomez. Respect. Luis Gomez, respect. How many hours do you trade? What kind of underwear? What kind of underwear from Alexa? How do you mean what kind of underwear? I don't know how you mean what kind of underwear. I don't say on the way. I don't know why you mean. Luis Gomez, what's up? 
É, Luiz Gomes, Luiz Avelha, nega. É o piado em dor. Tito Franco, what's up? Em Brasil. Yes, Tito Franco. Ok. Ok, what's up, Mike? Where is Mike? Mike, where are you talking from? Lindo. Yeah, Lindo, I respect to you. Luis Gomez. <laughs> are you from Lagos? No, 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 I'm not from Lagos. Thank you, sir. I train a lot. I try to get my maximum, maximum uh, work done. I like to feel exhausted before I leave the gym. Mike, you are inspiring. Thank you, Mr. Mike. <laughs> Mr. Mike Dumboy, respect to you. Luis Gomez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is Tito Franco? Tito Franco in Brazil. What's up with you? What's up, Paula? Uh, Mr. Scott in Chicago. How are you doing? Thank you, Mike. Don't bore. Respect to you. Much love from Africa. Yeah, my time is late. <laughs> I'm chatting from Lagos, Nigeria. Oh, wow, Mr. Mike, Lagos, Nigeria. That's nice. Yeah, I hope to be in Lagos, Nigeria someday. Yeah, Tito Franco. <laughs> He took Franco in Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. From Captain Kid, he said, Mark, I lost your email. I've tried to get you. I sent my email address to one of, of your videos. Okay, Captain Kid, respect to you. When did you send your email address? I never saw it. You said you wanted to send some support. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Voila. <laughs> Thank you. Captain Kid, he said, uh, I will send it again. Okay, uh, 
if you want to send your support, Cap Mr. Captain Kid, I'm going to send you my email right now. Then, when you have my email, you can have my contact and also my address. Okay. Captain Kid, that's my email address. You can contact me and tell me how you are going to send your support and what support you are sending to Mike in Africa. And I hope to announce your support in our next live stream. I hope it comes soon. Everybody want to know what Captain Kid is going to send. <laughs> Maybe I expected that in the last live stream video, but he said he lost my email address. He couldn't send the support. Now we see. So thank you, Captain Kid. I hope you copy the email. Respect to you. And if I see your email on my video, I'm gonna shout out to you. Yeah, yeah. Tito Franco. <laughs> Multibello. Too much beauty. <laughs> Tito Franco in Brazil. Respect to you. Yeah, Mr. Nanda. Mr. Nanda said, Mike, you are going to dance for us. And I was hoping to see Mr. Nanda online. I never saw Mr. Nanda online. I don't know. I hope he's doing good. Luis Gomez. <laughs> he's your holy fans. If you want to send your support, you have to send your support, okay? Thank you. Okay, here's the picture. I think I can share it on uh, Instagram, hopefully. Out here. Yeah, thank you guys. Respect to you from Africa. Can I follow? Wow. <laughs> yeah, where's Mr. Nada? Got the key. He said, I'm going to try your email address. Okay, you can send your. I got, I got you. Good. Okay, I'm going to share that, that picture on Instagram right now. Mr. Nanda, I said, Mike, you are going to dance for us. But well, I don't see Mr. Nanda online. Where are you, Mr. Nanda? I like your dance. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying some. My YouTube, YouTube don't allow you to play uh, music on your background. If I have to play music right now, YouTube are going to say, hey, Mike, you are playing someone's music. Go and sing your own music. YouTube don't like you when you play people's music. So maybe uh, next year, 
I'm going to sing some music. We're going to make some music from the studio. We're going to be dancing for my music. <laughs> okay, I'm going to Instagram right now. Respect. Yeah, you can ask me a question. Tito Franco. <laughs> Tito Franco, respect to you. Good night. I worry about cutting. Okay. What's the name of the dance? <laughs> hey. I don't know how to dance. I'm just moving my body, man. Respect to you. I'm working on Instagram right now. Boat, okay, boat. Yeah, fire. on Instagram. Yeah, that's it. So, freedom. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you for my Chris Stanley. He said you have a nice voice. I sent you an email, Mr. Hammam. Okay, nice video to watch on this cold night. <laughs> Jeffrey, hey, what's up? Mr. Uh, hey, Mr. Edward Robinson, how are you doing? <laughs> May you finally made your meals? Have you cooked yet? Tito Franco, what's up? <laughs> Tito Franco in Brazil, respect to you. Oh, Mr. Edward's still cooking, nice one. Okay, I dropped out my email to Captain Kid. He said he's gonna send me some support. Thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Hammam, I don't know what support you're sending. cooking okay mr robinson respect to you mr hammam if you are sending some support yes you can contact my email address thank you okay captain kid i look forward and i will let you know when i receive your email captain kid 
explain to you. Okay, the picture is rolling on Instagram. You speak Spanish. No, I don't know how to speak Spanish. I don't know how to speak Spanish. Tito Franco. <laughs> Expect to you all. Thank you for your time. What's up, Mr. Robinson? Edward, how are you doing? Tap the key. He said, man, would you get an email? From Cap the key. No email yet from Captain Kid. No email from Captain Kid. Mr. Edward. <laughs> My key. What's up? My key. Respect to you. It says Tony. Tony. Okay. No, no, no. No Tony, so no email here from Tony. Respect to you. Respect. Thank you for your message. Thank you for your comment. Yeah, thank you for liking this video. Yeah, it's really motivating, you know. Truly really inspiring. From Captain Kid, your image is not yet on ground. I hope you check. Um, Do you go for massage after exercise? No, no, no. I don't do that. From Captain Kid, he said, it says, hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Um, no, no, no. There's no email that says, hi, Mike. Please check my email and resend. Uh, how, many, how many pounds are you weighing? Oh, wow. I don't know in pounds. I only know I weigh 105 kg. I weigh 105 kgs. Your veins like a road. Why are you giving? Why are you give your email? Oh, from Betcharev. I give my email to Mr. Captain Kid because he said he wants to send Mike some support. He said he wants to support Mike, and I'm really glad about that. So you can contact me on my email. And I'm going to give you my address, Captain Kid. Thank you. Uh, Hamam said, Do you receive? 
her mom yes i received her mom email but your email is not uh culturally to the support so it's not expected thank you for that hi i do black dragon respect to you from her mom please if you are sending an email you should talk about how you are to support and i'm going to give you my address thank you for that captain kid said i do <laughs> telegram or whatsapp youtube i'm on youtube okay uh from mr captain kid um, unfortunately your email is not here so i will encourage you to drop your email under any of my videos make your comments under any of my videos say here's my email and i'm going to contact you straight up thank you for that Respect twenty-four. <laughs> Thank you, Black Dragon. <laughs> Say my code is the best. Thank you, Black Dragon. Subscribe to my channel. Six. Mr. Captain Kid, here on my comment section, I can't find your email on my video comments. You have not commented. The only comments from Captain Kid, it's uh, for my video today. I made a video called the uh, Hot Mozo Flex, sunny weather out here. Mr. Captain Kid said, uh, Well done, you're absolutely. Delica, <laughs> respect to you. Oh, Mike, do I have to write Mike Odeon? Oh, not really, but your email is not here. So you have to check my address and correct. Or you have to comment on my video, that's all. No need for stress. You have to comment on my video. I'm going to see your email. What, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Nigeria. Pex bounce, please, from Carlos. Respect to Mr. Carlos. Welcome online. From Dragon. Say Pex bounce, please. <laughs> Respect to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to save this video and try again, Mike. Oh, Mike. No, Captain Kid, you don't have to save the video. You can save the video, yes. But what you have to do is any of my video, any of my video on YouTube, just make a comment. And I'm going to see it as a new comment. It's going to show here as a new comment. 
So maybe not on this video. You can go to other videos and say, hey, Mike, this is my email. And I'm going to see it here and say, oh, from Captain Kid. One minute ago, I said, this is my email. Respect to you. Okay, please share this video. We need more subscribers. Tell them to subscribe to my audio channel on YouTube so we can produce more content, more quality content. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, Black Dragon. Thank you, Captain Kid. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Tony. <laughs> Mr. Tony. Hey, Mr. Carlos. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Carlos is here online with us. Thank you, Mr. Carlos. I saw your videos, tutorial on how to cook some meals. I saw it on my messenger. Thank you, sir. Carlos. I'm going to look into it, like I said. Okay, what's the next competition? The next competition is supposed to be 5th of December, okay? 5th of December, and that's a tournament, every BI tournament in Dubai. In Dubai, 5th of December, but uh, checking at the cost, <laughs> going to Dubai deserves a lot of cost, you know? I raised up my GoFront, I asked for support, I didn't get enough support, so it's kind of a, a shifted plan. Okay, thank you guys for your time. I hope to see you soon. Respect to you. Have a good night rest. Thank you for your time. See you soon. Much love. Bye.